Duke is a surprise hit for me. Everybody was telling me Joshua Williamson's a pretty good writer and all that, and I, I just like never really gave him too much of a shot. Uh, and then I picked up this in Cobra Commander uh, for the first issues. Obviously, if you've watched my reviews of those, I gave pretty glowing reviews. Duke, at this point, uh, has seen a Transformer, and he's like, there's robots out there. And uh, and he's started investigating the stuff that he then got framed uh, for some troubles. And now he's going out. He meets a friend uh, at like some like car junkyard here, uh, tells him what's going on. And uh, he uh, then, uh, of course, is trying to uh, get some help uh, to expose uh, the uh, issues at hand. Now, uh, this art is very much on the indie flair. I feel like this entire Energon universe kind of has that kind of indie vibe to it in a way. Um, and uh, people have talked about Duke not being as good uh, on the art as like Energon or, uh, and I'm sorry, uh, Void Rivals or Transformers. I actually think it really is. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think uh, I think this looks very solid. It's got that kind of like, you, you see the colors are done in that way where it looks like they're kind of just like sketching almost in a way. There's some flats with just a little bit of light tone uh, and I actually really like it. Uh, and I think it, it, it fits the characters. It, for a single character book, it feels really good on that level too. Eventually, the government catches up with uh, our friend here, and uh, they start uh, coming in guns a blazing because this is a GI Joe comic. Look at that; that's a great uh, single spe- spread with the the big gunfire as they're attacked. And he gets uh, you know on the run for a second before he finally gets kidnapped and captured, and then he gets sent to this like uh, like base, and you get this whole. Uh, this whole like layout structure here. I love when comics do this and show you the whole layout of everything. That makes me reminds me of Jack Kirby in a lot of ways. And so uh, he's in jail, and uh, and he uh, meets with this uh, this gal here, uh, who I, apparently is apparent is is uh, important to GI Joe lore. I actually don't know anything about GI Joe lore. I've never been into any of the GI Joe stuff before, uh, but it, they do explain uh, afterwards that she is like a character. Uh, who we might recognize from all that. Um, and so that's kind of a big reveal. If you are a G.I. Joe fan, uh, it seems like they're really doing a lot of work to uh, make sure that you are taken care of as a fan, which is cool. So enjoyable stuff. I, I look forward to see where he goes next issue and how he gets out of this prison uh, and where it goes from there. Uh, I, I like this. Uh, I like this uh, pretty much as much as the Transformer comic, which is crazy because I really love that book. Uh, and so this is becoming a must read for me. Good stuff. Uh, 8.5 out of 10 overall. And uh, that is my review. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.